Now that we've introduced the concept of confounding, let's check and see if age seems to be confounding the effect of smoking on FEV or lung capacity. The first thing we can do is check if the age distribution seems to be similar or different for smokers and non-smokers. In other words, is there an association between age and smoking? To visually examine this, we can look at a box plot. And here we can see that the smokers are much older on average than the non-smokers. So there does appear to be an association. If we think about it, what direction would the association go in? Does age affect smoking or does smoking affect age? Well, of course, age is going to be the one that has an effect on smoking. Smoking can't affect on your age. Does this association make sense conceptually, aside from just being numerically present in the data? Well, sure it does. Right? As kids get older, they're more likely to become a smoker. doesn't mean they're going to. Age is going to be associated with whether or not they smoke. Now we can check, does age seem to be associated with FEV or lung capacity? To visually explore this, we can make a scatter plot, plotting age versus FEV. Let's take a look at that. We can see a pretty strong association there. And if we want to quantify that numerically, we can calculate the correlation between age and FEV. The correlation of 0.756, again, it's pretty strong correlation. So it looks like they are associated. And again, if we think about it, what would be the direction of this association? Well, lung capacity or FEV can't have an effect on your age. It's got to be that age has an effect on FEV, right? As kids get older, their lung capacity gets larger. So does this association make sense conceptually? Again, yes, it does. It makes sense conceptually, aside from just the numbers, that as kids get older, their lungs are getting larger. Let's quickly look at what happens if we fit a model that includes age so we can adjust for it statistically. So here, what we're going to do is fit a linear regression model that uses both age and smoking to estimate FEV. So what we're trying to do here is find out the effect of smoking on FEV adjusted for age. So let's fit that model, and let's take a look at a summary of it. Now looking at the summary, what do we see with the smoking coefficient? The coefficient is now negative 0.208, roughly negative 0.21. So the interpretation of this would be that someone who smokes we'd expect the mean lung capacity to be 0.21 liters lower than a non-smoker when we adjust for age. Or phrasing that in a different way, if we take two people who are the same age, on average, we'd expect the smoker's lung capacity to be 0.21 liters lower than the non-smoker. So this is what we mean by statistically adjusting for age or statistically adjusting for this confounder. Now we're going to expand on the idea of confounding and explore it further, but hopefully this has given you a good initial idea of what confounding is and how it can distort the effects we're interested in.